Parnas Islam. She is uh, M.Tech in Electronics and Communication from Tejpur University and is at present a Junior Administrative Assistant in the Assam Secretariat in Guwahati. Apart from that, she has pursued her passion since her childhood as an artist. I would like to welcome Parnas Islam to Pixel Narratives with Anupush. Hello Parnas. Hello Anupush. Uh, I thought of inviting you because you are in the secretariat, you are in the government, yes, you are doing uh, your job as an uh, assist, uh, administrative assistant. Yes sir. And uh, you are also pursuing your interest in finance. Yes, so, could you just tell me how you are maintaining a balance between uh, pursuing the fine arts and the uh, also the you know um, your job that you are working in? Yeah, sir. It's very simple. I, actually, I have very very supportive parents, and uh, I am. Uh, I have to admit that, uh, honestly speaking, they have done a lot for me and I don't have many household responsibilities and so I think that make, make, makes it easier for me to, you know, focus on my art and poetry and sometimes singing. Okay. So you are into the creative uh, genre, you are doing a lot of things, but then you have done your MTech in Electronics and Computer Communications. communications. Yes. Okay. So uh, how did you... Uh, think that you are good at painting? Uh, that I cannot say even today, that I am very great at painting, sir, but uh, uh, when I was uh, a child and uh, around class 1, 2, actually, uh, sir had, um, my father had uh, admitted me to Guwahati Artist Guild and uh, there uh, the teachers were very encouraging 
and they inspired me to pursue this passion even till today. Okay, and you have set up, uh, you know, you had your one solo exhibition. Yes, sir. I at the State Art Gallery that was in yes. August 20, 2016. 16. Yes. And then you have participated in many uh, group art exhibitions, yes, Rings sir. of Paint, uh, uh, the group exhibition in Gwati Artist Guild. Yes. Uh, you also participated in the 11th Contemporary yes. Painting Exhibition yes. uh, organized with the Bengal Art Foundation. Yes. And uh, you have also participated in the Sanskar Bharti yes. Art Exhibition yes. uh, in association with, uh, association with the Azadi K. Amrit yes. And uh, also in other exhibitions and during Women's Day. Yes. And, uh, so, uh, what actually is your interest when you think about painting? Um, I mainly deal with uh, themes like uh, loving every form and uh, like uh, social issues and a bit of fantasy, surrealism. Yeah, most of your painting what I find is you know uh, those uh, stories about the mermaid, yes. uh, Alice in Wonderland and uh, I find in most of your paintings that Childish uh, sensibilities oh, that still you. retains with you, and you have been portraying uh, something that a very small child of uh, three, four years would be thinking, uh, dreaming about uh, the different uh, uh, cartoon characters. Yes. Because when I look at your paintings, I can see a lot of imageries. Uh, I can see a dragonfly, I can even see a cycle and the rainbow. And it's so very, uh, it is having a poetic uh, thing and you, you are also into poet, yes, poetry sir. writing. So you really also, kind of you. Uh, no, you also you know, uh, venture in writing poem yes. and uh, singing also. Yes. So what actually inspires you to think about this kind of themes where you portray uh, a situation which uh, a very small child would be dreaming, not even doing it. Uh, because there is not much we think about the, uh, you know, the technicalities of a painting, you know, where you have a perfect drawing and the perfect color balance. But then, while going through your paintings, what I have uh, understood, what I enjoyed most is that uh, they have some kind of, you know, uh, attraction uh, uh, because we go back to our those childhood memories. Yes, yes. Right? Yes. I was introduced to storybooks uh, by my mother. The hmm. first book she gave me was uh, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs hmm. along with uh, the Twelve Dancing Princesses. The two, two books into one. And from then on, I fell in love with literature. And I was always encouraged to pursue reading and uh, in that way I think I am very grateful and thankful to God that I have supportive parents, supportive teachers mm -hmm. and mentors like you, sir. Uh, uh, okay, see, uh, every time we I come across my guests who are creatively inclined, yes. it is because of they had very supportive parents. Yes. yes. Because mm -hmm. art, music, Theatre, uh, painting uh, requires uh, a support from home and uh, that is why we still get uh, come across people who are in this kind of a field and they yes. still do. Yes. What do you think uh, of that statement, art for art's sake? Mm. Yes, sir. Uh, if it's taken too seriously, maybe the process would not be that enjoyable. Okay. So, art for its art, just like it's a pleasure looking at the viewing at the painting. Mm -hmm. yes. So, uh, when you start uh, making a painting, yes. uh, how do you start? Uh, it, does it come naturally and you just keep on adding things? Or you uh, first think about the theme and then start making the painting? Uh, usually, uh, I uh, focus on uh, you know, having certain. Uh, I have a sketchbook, and there I uh, have some images of uh, sketches, rough sketches of paintings, and then I make it in a proper way in a paper, and then I put it on canvas. Okay. 
And most of the paint that you use is acrylic? Acrylic and watercolor, yes. Acrylic and watercolor. But, uh, and uh, which one is more, uh, uh, you know, uh, easier for you? Acrylics. Acrylic. <laughs> and acrylic is a medium that has come very recently. Yes. And, uh, well, okay, let us go back to your days when you started with the two-year advanced course in visual arts yes. uh, in Guwahati Art Institute. Yes. That was in around uh, 2001. 2001. So, I was in could you just standard. share your moments uh, uh, that you spent, how old were you at that time and what were uh, and, uh, and the teachers teaching you yes. and uh, those nostalgic memories? Yes, sir. Guwahati Art Institute has always been close to my heart and close to my home as well. And um, teachers uh, like uh, Kishore Kumar Das sir and Bobuda and Rakam sir and also you sir, you had shared a, um, yeah, one of my paintings uh, in your Facebook profile and that uh, made me immensely happy and uh, so this small gesture by people and uh, sometimes criticism by these people only, my mentors, this helps me a lot. Uh, I think the your harshest critic is your best friend. Mm -hmm. So uh, you were asking me about uh, the course I was taking in artistry. Uh, there we had teachers like Vikramaditya sir, Vikramaditya sir and uh, Abhijit sir and uh, they completely changed my perspective on art and I was usually uh, drawing just simple hills, trees, children, parks, all these things but uh, when I underwent that course, uh, my horizon broadened and I started to do abstract art. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, don't you think that the kind of work that you have done mostly in your paintings mm -hmm. that I have just seen yes. uh, really doesn't require any kind of abstractions. You can just retain the beautiful, vivid, uh, that child, uh, you know, in the uh, essence of a child in your painting. Uh, so that's true for now, but when I first started off, I had uh, done complex themes in my glass paintings. Mm -hmm. I had um, the, it was like a effort uh, between good and evil. I had made a chessboard there in some of my paintings mm -hmm. as a theme, mm -hmm. recurring theme. And I had a, a, one of my paintings is about revolution at that time. So all the inventions of man, I had tried to portray there. Mm -hmm. And the progress that man had made, that was uh, my uh, who, Which Indian or international artist inspires you the most? international artist. Uh, Van Gogh, sir, I think I like his work a lot. Mm -hmm. Van Gogh, uh, Vincent Van Gogh is a favorite of most of the artists. <laughs> and uh, uh, what uh, the artist in uh, India? Uh, India, sir, um, in Guwahati Artist Deal, I have a lot of, uh, I admire a lot of people. Uh, Viren Hino, sir, is very versatile. He's a Parvati, Prutima Bora Pandey, that statue in Chanmadi. I always admire that when that, I go by. That is one of his best best creations. best creations. And it's like as if she would sing only. It's yeah, uh, right. like that. And uh, you have a very realistic microphone. Yes, yes, yes. That, that's a really uh, yeah. Wonderful. And mm -hmm. sir, the, I think Kishore sir, Kishore Kumar Das sir, his uh, paintings are very uh, visionary okay. and uh, conceptual. Mm -hmm. So um, that is really his paintings are beautiful. Madhusudan Das sir's paintings are wonderful, and Asudev sir's paintings also, sir, obviously. Without mentioning, I cannot move forward. Okay, uh, we are also into writing poetry. Yes, sir. I am. Uh, would you like to share one of your poems? Okay, sir. That would be a few lines. Yeah, that would be an honor for me. Um, I'm just uh, going to uh, recite a few lines from my poem. Uh, when spring never comes, I had written it in high school, and I hope. Uh, you will uh, get the feel of the poem. When spring never comes, I was burnt with the fire of fury, rekindled with hatred. My grave was laid, my feelings buried, and a sapling of bitter revenge was uh, nurtured. And I trod a trail of thorns laid especially for me. I was welcomed with airs of indifference to me that made no sense. And I was sadder than autumn, they were colder than winter, and spring never came. So that was a wonderful narration of our poetry. 
beautiful poem, When Spring Never Comes. And now coming to your present, you are in a government uh, secretariat, in the Assam secretariat, yes. one of the busiest places in the busiest office. I think your, uh, even your Sundays and Mondays are often taken sometimes. by your work sometimes. So how do you cope up with your work and how do art help you in your work? Uh, without art and poetry, I cannot imagine my life. Okay. And um, uh, like there are times when we get holidays, mm -hmm. government holidays, festivals. India is a land of festivals, so mm -hmm. we do get holidays. And uh, I make the best use of the time. And I put on music while I'm uh, doing a painting. Uh, the environment is very... Uh, that is one person that when I'm doing painting or poetry, I never feel bored and I never um, lose concentration. Okay. And I'm happy to pursue these hobbies. Uh, you are, have been also a teacher. Yes. You teach uh, the uh, students, yes. the tiny um, children that come to work here. Yes, sir. How is your uh, you know, experience with the children who come to learn finance? Mm, sir, uh, I'm in the, I was in the senior most uh, children's group teacher. And I found it very, um, an eye-opener kind of experience. I found that today's kids are way, way smarter than we were. Mm -hmm. And um, there were certain tricks I learned from them, that how to get your work done, how to, you know, you know how to cooperate with each other and do something creative. And uh, my creative juices flowed a lot during those years. Because I was always inspired by the way they thought, the way they portrayed, tried to portray something. And did it. they really come to your paintings also? Uh, that I cannot say. Because your involvement with the children. Yeah, yeah. Did they, you know, uh, help you to bring those childish behavior yeah, the children maybe, have maybe. into your paintings? Yes, yes. Because whenever we, I have been seeing your paintings, I have seen that it contains that flavor hmm. that a child would think. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, and you know, uh, at this uh, phase of life, you are able to think about the way a child would think or perceive the uh, place, the different themes that you have used. Mm -hmm. That really makes your painting very, very lively and very, very out of time. <laughs> and. Uh, it has that lyrical uh, aspect in your painting uh, because you are a poet and you compose uh, uh, poems, you also sing and, and they all at some point of time, they uh, reflect in your visual uh, that you make. Mm. Now coming back to something that uh, when you were in school, yes. which was your favourite subject? Uh, of course, I was fond of English, but uh, I also was fond of maths. Uh-huh. Yes. Okay. And? English, uh, I would like to say, um, we had a very good English teacher and I am really grateful to her for inspiring me to write. Rukma Datta Madam from Faculty School. And uh, she taught us Shakespeare. She taught us uh, Vikram Singh's poetry. And those classes are vivid in my mind. I can tell you exactly what she explained to us. Exactly. You know, uh, yeah, we had some very good teachers mm -hmm. and uh, what we are today is because we had some wonderful teachers, there's yes, no yes, doubt yes. about it. When did you first realize that uh, you should venture into painting? Uh, I was always scribbling or drawing something before even uh, around five years, six years I was doing that and my father uh, admitted me to Guwahati Art School when I was around uh, six years old. And from there the journey has continued. And I think that uh, my father, my parents had a big role to play. Plus, Gauhati Artist Guild's environment also stimulated me to compete with other artists. And when I see other people's painting, I also feel that, okay, if they can do it, I can also do it. Did you think that time that you were venturing into an area where you have to, uh, you know, uh, work and establish yourself as an artist. Yeah. And I'm it is very, very difficult. Uh, yes, sir. Um, 
I, I was, uh, there was a time when I thought that I'll do painting and poetry, mm -hmm. I'll get my book published or I'll um, make a living out of art. Mm -hmm. But uh, I left my job in an engineering college where I was teaching. Mm -hmm. That was also a fulfilling That experience. is what I was, I was uh, trying okay. to ask you because you have, you are an MT. Yes sir, I am. And you are working at a uh, you know, position which is junior administrative assistant, that has nothing yes. to do with your intake in uh, uh -huh. electronics and communication. Yes, sir. So, uh, how do you compromise with yes, your qualification sir. and the work that you do? Mm, actually, um, in our times, it was just that uh, to make a living, and they were true to a huge extent that it's difficult to make your uh, living out of you know arts, but. Uh, the thing is that, so we were also uh, inspired to take up science, so that to get the, you know, uh, base and then pursue our passions. Mm. So I think, uh, I don't think that's a bad thing, but then uh, uh, as I grew older, I found that my calling was painting okay. and poetry. And I loved reading books to which my parents had introduced me. So um, I always had a world of my own where I could um, live. So, uh as we were uh, talking to Farnaz, where she has been talking about her parents, influencing her, taking her to those places where usually uh, children at that age would be taken for the mathematics class, the science class, English classes, but she was also taken to the art classes in Guwahati Art School. And that's how we, we could see that uh, you also can pursue your passion when you have a support in your home. So there would be many, many uh, Panas in uh, watching this uh, podcast and it's the parents who should think, you know, how we can inspire our children so that they can also pursue their dreams and also make a living out of doing a lot of creativity, something that they really want to do. On that note, I'd like to end this podcast, Pixel Narratives with Anutosh. It was so wonderful talking to Farnaz. And in our next edition, we will also be talking to another person who would be sharing his or her life experiences. Till then, goodbye.